Hey, what's up guys? Space is here. Welcome back to more Genshin Impact, or rather a Genshin Impact news video. Now, I'm sure probably most of you have heard by now that uh, the 4.7 special program has been announced and it's going to be debuting on the 24th of May, which is on Friday. And of course, we're going to finally get our first look at Chlorine and Siege Wing here at long last. We're also getting this animated short soon, which I think is somewhat teasing the anime, I think. The Genshin Impact anime that was like announced like three years ago. Finally, we're getting like a teaser for that or something. But there's one more thing on the Genshin Impact Twitter that caught my attention, which is this. Developer discussion, increase original resin cap, and optimize artifact custom configurations. What? Are we finally getting a resin increase after all this time? Hang on, I, I gotta see this. Holy shit, it's fucking true. It's fucking true. After all our complaining, Starting from version 4.7, the cap of the original resin will be increased to 200. Oh, fucking finally. We've been asking for like an increased resin cap for a good while now. Finally, all our crying has paid off. Holy moly. That is very, very good news for like everybody. Holy crap. All right, I'm looking forward to 4.7 just for these changes. <laughs> as well as chlorine and siege weed, of course, but more or so the 200 resin. Man, Hoya was just like, Wuthering Waves is releasing tomorrow. We gotta step up our game to make sure we're the better one. <laughs> Goddamn, they really just roll in all these QL changes just like right before a new gacha game comes out. It's just, <laughs> wow. Okay, we might as well read the rest of this uh, developer discussion here since we're here. Increase enhancement material and food cap. Okay, so basically they're increasing the cap for like the weapon enhancement ores. And they're basically doing the same thing for the ores, the XP books, and the artifact enhancement materials. And ingredients too. And yeah, they're basically increasing the cap from 2,000 to 9,999. Which is kind of good, I guess, for those people who love hoarding a lot. I know I do. So, hey, <laughs> good change for me, I guess. Increase friends cap. Oh, they're increasing the friends cap to 100. Okay. I'm pretty sure it can hold up up to like 60 or 80 friends as of right now. I know a lot of people send me friend requests on Genshin, so hey, very welcome change. Recommended set function for artifact custom configurations. What is this? To help you quickly and conveniently assemble a set of artifacts. Oh yeah, this, this is not artifact loadouts. Yeah, this is basically just quick equip. Although it does seem like you can filter between which artifacts are equipped and which are not. So hey, while it not be like the artifact loadout system we want, it is going to help out newbies. And basically that is it for the developer discussion. But holy crap, dude, at long, long last, increase original resin cap. Finally, it's been 84 years <laughs> since we <laughs> since we wanted this, but finally they delivered. Yeah, that's just good news for everybody. But the next thing I really, really want is for them to like decrease the resin re regeneration rate. Like maybe lower it from 8 minutes to 7 minutes or something. Please, Hoyo. <laughs> While this is a very, very good change, there's a bit more improvements that can be made in this game that I do really, really want. But hey, this is a step in the right direction. And hopefully with the release of Wuthering Waves, Genshin actually has some competition to make them push themselves to do better and whatnot. Like, I know everybody was saying, like, Wuthering Waves is going to be, like, the Genshin killer and whatnot, but honestly, I kind of hope Wuthering Waves succeeds just so Hoyo is pushed to do better because competition is always healthy for both sides because it encourages both sides to do the best they can. And, like, for the longest time, Genshin had really no competition except for Honkai Star, which is made by the same company. So, yeah, here's hoping that Hoyo continues to improve from here on out. But alrighty, guys, that is the end for this uh, quick, short Genshin news video. Yeah, I'm even more hyped for 4.7, and I hope you guys are as well. Also, I'll be hosting a watch party for the 4.7 special program on Friday, so be sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when the watch party goes live and we can watch the 4.7 special program together. But alrighty, guys, thank you all so much for watching this uh, Genshin news update video. Leave a like on the video if you found this video helpful, and if you want to support me through the YouTube algorithm, and subscribe today if you want to see some more videos or streams from me. But anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to take off now guys good luck to you all pulling for siege Wing or chlorand and yeah hope to see all you guys in the 4.7 watch party on friday all right that'll be it for me guys see ya